सह वीरवाह तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तु मद्विषावह ओ शाशाशाति ओ पूर्णमद पूर्णमीद पूर्णात्पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्ण से पूर्णमाय पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शाति शाति ओ आप्याय मंगा वाक्प्राणश्चक्षुश्रोत्रो बलमींद्रिया चर्वाणे सर्व ब्रह्म उपनिषद माहं ब्रह्म निराकुरिया ब्रह्म निराको अनीराकर्णमस्वराक मे अस्त तदात्मते यौपनिषत्सु धर्मस्ते मयि सन्त ते मयि सन्त ओ शातिशातिशातिस्मृतिपुरा आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण शक्रुत वंदे भगवत ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमेहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम ओमेतर मुद्गीतमुपीत ओमितुदाते तस्ोपव्याख्यान तदन आरंभशब्दादिभ्य कूटस्थम च नित्यं ब्रह्म सर्वक्रिया प्रतिषेधादिवोचाम यू सेड अर्लियर दैट ब्रह्मन इज कूटस्थम चेंजलेस नित्यम इटर्नल सर्वक्रिया प्रतिषेधा बिकॉज वाइल अनफोल्डिंग नेचर ऑफ ब्रह्म श्रुति निगेट्स ऑल द विक्रिया ऑल द विशेष द डिस्टिंगशन और एट्रीब्यूट्स आर निगेटेड इन दैट वे all vikriya all modifications are negated in brahma nacha <coughs> yatha brahmanah atmaikatva darshanam moksha sadhanam and brahmanah atmaikatva darshanam the knowledge of identity of brahman and atma is moksha sadhanam is a means of moksha means of freedom from all the sorrow and also being established in the fullness that is one's own nature tatha jagadaakara parinamitu darshana api swatantram eva kasmai chit phalaya abhiprayade don't think that the knowledge of brahman that undergoes transformation so knowledge of kutastha brahma changeless brahma is the means of moksha but in that manner the knowledge of the changing brahman or change full brahman does not independently give rise to end result as an aid it becomes indirectly the means of moksha 
but not Svatantrataya, not on its own, not directly. <coughs> Pramana Abhavat, because nowhere do we find any statements in Upanishads which say that the knowledge of changeful Brahman gives rise to moksha or liberation. Kutastha Brahma Tattvijnana Devahi Phalam Darshadi Shastram On the other hand, Shastra clearly shows the Phalam, the result moksha by the knowledge of the Kutastha Brahma, Brahman that is changeless. Sayesha Neti Neti Atma Edi Upakramya Beginning from Esha Neti Neti Atma Atma is not this, not this. Meaning the gross and the subtle, all of these are negated in the Atma. The Upakramya commencing with that Abhayam Vai Janaka Prapto Se and concluding with this, the statement, Hey Janaka, you have attained Abhayam Brahma. So by Neti Neti, all the Visheshas are negated. So it is Kutastha Brahma. By knowledge of it, Janaka attained fearlessness, which is Moksha. Tatra Hitat Siddham Bhavati. With this, this is what becomes established. Brahma Prakarane Sarva Dharma Visheshraita Brahma Darshana Deva Phala Siddhau Brahma Prakarane in the context of Param Brahma Sarva Dharma Vishesha Rahita Brahma Darshana Deva by Darshana by the knowledge of Brahman that is Sarva Dharma Vishesha Rahitam devoid of all the peculiarities or attributes Brahman such as that. Tad darshana deva unva darshanam or knowledge of Brahman as the self. And self is devoid of all attributes. Atma or the consciousness that illumines all the attributes is necessarily different from all the attributes. All attributes are the objects of illumination by the Atma, therefore the illuminator must be different from what is illumined. <coughs> so Atma is the only entity really which is devoid of all the attributes, which is Kutastha, which is changeless, which is Nitya, which is eternal. All of these, even though the word Brahman is used, all of these primarily only apply to Atma or the Self. <coughs> That's the reason why Brahman is to be known as a self. And still the word Brahma is used because the self may give rise to the notion of ego. I as separate from other eyes, therefore Brahman which is the Jagat Karanam, the cause of creation, the self of the universe or self of all that is used and the identity of that Brahman with the Atma or the Self is taught. <coughs> Yat tatra aphalam shruyate Brahmana jagadakara parinamitvade. In that same chapter also we find that Brahman which has transformed itself with the creation also is mentioned but no result is mentioned of knowing Brahman which is changeful. Tad Brahma Darshan Upayatve Neva Viniyujyate Therefore, we have to conclude that knowledge of changeful Brahman is a means of the knowledge of changeless Brahman because Shruti does not present any independent result of this and therefore, we have to conclude that how? Phalavat Sannidhau Aphalam Tadangam Itivada so in the vicinity of that which is meaningful, resultful, in vicinity of that, when something which has no result is mentioned, then that should be considered as a means, angam or part. Natu svatantram phalaya kalpyade That being the case, the knowledge of changeful Brahman 
cannot be imagined to be independently giving rise to any result only through the knowledge of Kutastha Brahma that it becomes meaningful, not independently. Like several steps in a puja become meaningful by contributing to the entire puja. So entire puja has a result. But no separate result is mentioned for individual aspects of that. So we were to conclude that all of these contribute to the total result by completing the main ceremony. <coughs> Nai parinama vatva vijnanat parinama vatvam atmana phalam syadeti. But then Urupakshi says that tam yatha yatha upasate tadeva bhavati. He says that as you meditate upon Ishvara, so you become. It is sute brahmana parinamitva vijnanat. In whichever manner you meditate upon Brahman, that is what you become. That means Brahman has many manners, you know. Brahman can be meditated upon in many manners. That is Brahman is changeful. Had it been changeless, then it is not possible to meditate upon them in different ways. But in whichever way you meditate upon Brahman, that's what you become. That seems to indicate that Brahman is changeful or multifarious not homogeneous. Dharma Vashyakara says, Nahi parinama bhattva vijnanat parinamatvam atmana phalamsyat You cannot say that by meditating upon Brahman there is changeful, that atma becomes changeful. Atma is kutastha. Atma is the nature of moksha. And therefore, kutastha nityatvat mokshasya Moksha itself is Atma is knowledge of Atma or abidance in Atma is Moksha and Atma is Kutasthanitya, changelessly eternal and so also is Moksha, must be changelessly eternal. <coughs> On the page 381, continuing. Sayyid Atnarva Brahmavit Apnodi Paramedi Ishruta Kutasa nitya moksha phala sambhave dukkha anitya parinamitva phala kalpana ayogati bhava That when you can get the result in terms of being limitless, why should you want to imagine that a limited result will is desirable? How can we desirable? Kutasa nitya moksha phala sambhave when there is this possibility of the phala or the result in the form of the changelessly eternal. Dukkha anitya parinamitva phala kalpana evagat. Why should you want to meditate and land into dukkha? Because you land into changing Brahman, which change always creates dukkha. Anitya it is, it is perishable. Parinami changeful. Kalpana evagat. It does not make any sense to give any importance to the result of meditation upon changeful Brahman when the result of meditating upon or knowing the changeless Brahman gives you moksha. What is the point in promoting the meditation upon changeful Brahman? <coughs> so that point is now taken care of. Now says Ratna Brava Nanu Purvam Janma Yasi Yatahidi Ishwara Karana Pratignya Kruta The second sutra, very first sutra, Athado Brahma Jignasa is prefaced and then Brahma Sutra teaching starts from the second sutra Janma Yasi Yatah Asya Jagadaha Janma Bhangadi Janma Sthiti Bhanga. So, Yataha from which Brahman are the creation, sustenance, and dissolution of this universe. <coughs> Meaning that Brahman is presented there 
as the abhinna nimitta upadana karanam brahman is presented as both the material cause as well as the efficient cause the creation as well as the creator in the ishvara karanatva pratigna is a pratigna sutra the rest of the brahma sutra is meant to prove that so you make a proposition we say that brahman is jagat karanam it is the cause of creation the material cause of creation and material cause is the reality of the effect it is the self of the effect like the clay is the reality behind the parts it is the self of the parts and never brahman is the self of the universe the reality behind the universe meaning that even though the universe appears to be consisting of names and forms which are all limited the reality behind this limited universe is limitless that even though the individual appears to be a limited being but reality behind the limited individual also is limitless this is the most amazing thing so thus this proposition is first made and rest of the brahma sutra is meant to establish this so jaga ishvara karanatva karana pratigna krita the ishvara is jagat karanam that pratigna proposition was made right in the beginning aduna tadananyatvam iti it atyanta abheda pratipadane but now you are saying that ananyatvam that jagat is not different from brahman what is is brahman now that's what you are saying formerly you said that brahman is jagat karanam so karanam is different from the effect karanam is different from the effect cause is different from the effect and then jagat ishvara is jagat karanam the cause of creation then alone ishvara can be omniscient omnipotent omnipresent as nimitta karanam omniscient as upadana karanam omnipresent so all these various attributes that are assigned to ishvara in terms of sarvagnatvam sarvashaktimatvam all of this will be relevant only when ishvara is a ruler and the jagat is ruled but now you are saying that there is only one what is is brahman therefore there is no ruler no ruled at all aduna tat ananyatma vidhi atyant abheda pratipadane when you are now expounding the atyant abheda jagat is absolutely non separate from brahman and therefore what is is brahman and nothing else ishitra ishita vibhed abhavat then there is no duality the very fact that you use the word ishvara ishvara means ruler that's the meaning of the word ishvara when can there be a ruler when there is ruled a ruler is always with reference to rules therefore the very word ishvara presupposes duality of ishitru ishitavya the ruler and the rule that duality is implied by the very word ishvara but when there is only ishvara there is no separate ruler no separate rule then all that difference is erased or effaced tad virodasya so this sutra which reveals the non duality of brahman appears to contradict the earlier sutra where brahman was presented as ishvara as a nimitta and upadana karanam because karanam is different from the karyam there seems to be thus a contradiction a self contradiction the text contradicting itself 
within brahma sutra also there appear to be appears to be internal contradiction how about that idi sangade kutasthedi subhashakara says kutastha brahma pravadinah ईशितव्य अभावे ईश्वर कारण प्रतिज्ञा विरोध है सी दिस इज दी दिस इज हाउ वी मस्ट रिकनसाइल देर मस्ट बी सम देर मस्ट बी कंसिस्टेंसी इन द एंटायर टेक्स्ट it cannot be that at one place the text says something and says something else contradictory elsewhere then it's not pramanam not only that but it's talking through two mouths you know saying something else here and something else there then what do you and what will you take is to be real you know therefore it cannot be reliable therefore it must be consistent there bhashya kare to establish it. consist established the consistency between the two apparently contradictory sutras sri <coughs> ratna prabha kalpita dvaitam apekshya ishvaratvadikam paramatha ananyatma vid avirodham ah these are simply two stand points that's all kalpita dvaitam apekshya yes that ishita ishitavya the ruler the rule also i can be explained by dvaitam which is kalpitam we do not say that ishwaratvam is real that he is ruler we do not say that the rulership is the ultimate nature of brahman from some stand point brahman is called a ruler okay but when you analyze the rulership then it drops off rulership is only a stand point because we look upon ourselves as ruled we feel that we are ruled or restrained or constricted in every way there is no freedom whatever there are the whole universe is governed by the various laws over which we have no control and therefore we have to helplessly submit to all the laws there is a law of gravity you have to submit to it otherwise you'll get injured that when you fire burns you have to submit to better so we find that we are restricted everywhere as though these restrictions of ishwara were not enough there are millions of restrictions that the rulers the local rulers also impose so our conclusion about ourselves is that we are ruled this is our our perception of ourselves so when there is ruled there must be a ruler therefore we superimpose the idea of rulership upon ishwara that i am ruled is not a reality about me is also a only a false perception about me if being ruled were reality then ishwara would be a ruler in the real sense but that i am ruled is a notion created in me because of ignorance that i am limited that i am helpless that i am subject to laws all of this is as long as there is identification with this body mind sense complex but when that identification is not there you become free from the idea of smallness or being ruled and therefore this is a temporary idea or a notion created by ignorance so from the stand point of the ruled which is a notion created from ignorance ishwara is branded as ruler because we look upon the universe as creation therefore ishwara is branded as creator we find that the universe is sustained so we call him sustainer 
we find the things that are being destroyed, so we call him destroyer. Giving reality to creation, sustenance, destruction. Not realizing that this is not the absolute reality. Because when you analyze what is being created, if you really investigate into what it is that is being created, you find that it leaves nothing. It results ultimately resolves into uncreated, that the creation or the change is only proved to be apparent. Change, perishability, all of these are prone to be apparent. Apparent means what? Subject to being negated. That when you examine this part, you find that the perishable part also is apparent because when you really analyze it, it turns out to be clay which is not perishable. Similarly, when you analyze any name and form, it turns out to be asti, bhati, priyam, and therefore the, that it is created, that it is changing, that it is perishable. All of these ideas drop off. So that Brahman is called Ishwar also is a standpoint born of ignorance. And that is called ignorance which can be dispelled by knowledge. Therefore, when ignorance is dispelled by knowledge, then you find that when you look at Brahman as it is, you find that there is no rulership there. Nacha machthani bhutani pashyame yoga maishwaram. So this is one standpoint. Maya tadamidam sarvam jagadavyakta murtina that by my unmanifest form the entire universe is pervaded. This is one standpoint. Machthani sarabhutani nachaham teshvavasthita they are all in me. I am not in them. I am real. They are mithya. But the Nachamasthani Bhutani, if you look at me, there is no Mithya Vishya also. All there is is I alone. <coughs> that is the non negatable knowledge. Earlier knowledge is where standpoint is negatable, but that what ultimately is, is one changeless reality, one changeless Brahman, one changeless, limited, limitless God or one changeless, limitless self, one changeless, limitless I, that's the ultimate reality. Therefore, earlier we say that Brahman is Ishvara, tentatively accepting the creation. But now we say that there is no creation. So now we have gone a step further and inquire into the nature of creation, we find that the whole creation or universe of names and forms resolves into Brahman which is Asti Bhati Priyam and therefore all there is is one Asti Bhati Priyam Satchidananda Satyam Jnana Manantam. So Kalpita Dvaitam Apeksha Ishwaratvadikam This Dvaitam this duality is projected by ignorance and therefore the ruled etc. are all projected by ignorance. With that standpoint, Ishwara is called, Brahman is called Ishwara. <coughs> Paramatata Ananyatvam But in reality, there is no ruled and there is no ruled ruler duality also what is ananyatvam? Non separatedness, just oneness, non duality. So, Vashyakara says, Na ityadina. So, two virodas are there. Kutastha advayate brahmana shruti pratigna yoho virodasya. So, when brahman is kutastham and advatiya advatiya, then Shruti and Pratigna. So Shruti says Ekameva Advitiyam or Pratigna the Shruti says that Brahma is Jagat Karanam in some places and Sutra also says 
यतो वा इमानि भूतानि जायन्ते बिकॉज़ दैट सूत्र जन्मा जस्य यतः इज बेस्ड ऑन दिस स्टेटमेंट द उपनिषद यतो वा इमानि भूतानि जायन्ते श्रुति से दैट ब्रह्मन इज देयर फ्रॉम व्हिच द होल यूनिवर्स इज इमर्ज बाय व्हिच इट इज सस्टेन एंड टू व्हिच इट गोस बैक एंड बिकम्स वन दैट्स व्हाट द श्रुति से इन दिस सूत्र आल्सो सेस जन्मा जस्य यतः so this tat ananyatvam declaring non duality about brahman seems to contradict both the shruti as the sutra and the shruti upon which the sutra is based virodha dvayam pariharati both this virodhas are resolved here both these contradictions are resolved na ityadina bhashakara says न अविद्यात्मक नाम बीज व्याकरणपेक्षो वॉट डज इट मीन से रत्न प्रभा सो अविद्यात्मक नाम बीज अविद्यात्मक नाम First of all, names and forms are a product of ignorance. Chidat mali nile, meaning the universe, the creation is the product of ignorance. So where are these names and forms? Names and forms are all projected by ignorance, all right. But where were they before they were they, before they were projected? Chidat mani nile, they were merged into consciousness. Meaning, tad dhedam tari avyakrta masit. What was was avyakrta undifferentiated. Tad naam rupa abhyame avyakriyata. It got differentiated as names and forms. So chidatman line naam rupa. So avidyatmaka naam rupa. Avidyatmaka means product of ignorance, name and form, which are the nature of ignorance, the products of ignorance, which were unmanifest in the beginning. Teva bijam, these names and forms of the bijam, the very seed for the entire creation. What is the entire creation? What is created? Name and form. सच्चिदात्मन न्यू स्यूते सच्चिदात्मा अपॉन विच ऑल दिस प्रोजेक्शन इज मेड हार्ट के कटकादि वत लाइक अपॉन गोल्ड ऑल सिल्वर ऑर्नामेंट्स आर सुपर इंपोज अपॉन द वाटर ऑल द वेव्स एंड फोम इन बबल्स आर सुपर इंपोज सो आल्सो अपॉन चिदात्मा द यूनिवर्स इज सुपर इंपोज and so the name and form become the bijam becomes a very cause of this universe of the nature of name and form tasya vya so what is creation vyakaranam differentiation of undifferentiated name and form is called creation the manifestation of unmanifest name and form is called creation so what is creation from the unmanifest to the manifest what is dissolution from manifest to unmanifest तस्य व्याकरणम स्थूलात्मना सृष्टि सु अविद्यात्मक नाम रूप बीज व्याकरण द डिफरेंशिएशन ऑफ द नेम्स एंड फॉर्म्स व्हिच आर द सीड्स एंड व्हिच आर द प्रोडक्ट्स ऑफ इग्नोरेंस तत् अपेक्षत्वात् ईश्वरत्वादेह विथ रेफरेंस टू द क्रिएशन ऑफ नेम एंड फॉर्म Brahman is called Creator. He is called Ishvara. Without them, looking at Brahman itself, there is no Ishvaratvam. There is no Creatorship. <coughs> Therefore, na virodha hai, janma dyesse yata hai. That sutra and yato va imani bhutani. That shruti. both of them are from the stand point of names and forms which are products of ignorance so momentarily giving reality to names and forms 
the shruti says that the universe of names and forms is created from brahman sustained by brahman but in reality brahman is satyam jnanam anantam where there is no duality at all <coughs> so momentarily giving reality to the world we say that brahman is ishvara brahman is creator etc sangrahitartham vivrnoti so this is the sangraha vakya this is the pithi statement which is what now further elaborated by bhashyakara bhashyakara explains his own statement tasmad va ityadina तस्मादात्मनाकाशसंभूत इत्यादि वाक्येभ्य निशुद्धबुद्धमुक्तस्वूपर्वशक्ते ईश्वरात् जगस्थिति जगज्जनिस्थिति प्रलया न अचेतना प्रधान अन्यस्मादर्थ प्रतिज्ञा जन्माद्य सो वाट वॉज ई purport what was the true significance of the sutra janmadya seda that from brahman the there is creation sustenance dissolution of the universe from brahman why would they say that there is not from pradhanam basically to dismiss other sources of the creation not to establish brahman as a cause ishvara but to dismiss the other stand point that the sankhya say that the pradhanam the primordial matter is the cause of creation and the vaisheshikas would say that the five atoms are the cause of creation or the the bodhas would say that shrinka or shunya is the cause of creation to dismiss all of those stand points all those all those views that the root of the universe is not shunyam it is not atom it is not prime this inert matter it is consciousness so that was the purpose of that sutra not to say that brahman is ishvara and the primary essence that was not the purpose purpose was to say that the root of the entire universe is in consciousness why do the sankhyas say that pradhanam or primordial matter is the cause of creation why do you say that because the creation appears to be inert the jagat or creation appears to be inert insentient therefore it makes sense that the insentient pradhanam must be the cause of insentient jagat so poor sankhyas that's what they think but that is giving reality to jagat all these view points are born of giving reality to jagat or shunyavad giving no reality to jagat that's other extreme so sankhyas vaisheshikas nayayikas give reality to jagat and shunyavad he doesn't accept even mithyatvam nothing he accepts therefore the vedantin has to establish that jagat is mithya and brahma is satyam and from the stand point of jagat brahma is called ishvara etc but ultimate purpose is that nitya shuddha buddha mukta swarupat that what is the very essence of the universe if you investigate what is the nature of this universe of names and forms where where will it resolve the the scientists are like sankhyas scientists also give reality to universe 
Therefore, their conclusion like Sankhya is that energy or primordial matter is the cause of the creation. But no, Vedanta says no creation is not real. It is a projection. And therefore, when when it is projection, then cause doesn't have to satisfy or does not have to follow the nature of the effect. Like the rope is the cause of the snake. But because the snake is mithya, therefore, rope is not required to have snakeness. You see? If snake was real, then rope must have snakeness because snake cannot be born from something which has no snakeness. But if the snake was born really, Asarvabhutayam Rajvam Sarparopah. Superimposition of snake is upon rope, which is not a trace of snake. Similarly, the universe of names and forms is superimposed upon Brahman, which has no universeness at all. The insentient creation is superimposed upon Brahman, which has no insentience at all. Therefore, Tasmadva etasad atmanah akasha sambhutah From that Brahman, Brahma Vidapnodiparam, which is this Atma Satyam Jnana Manantam, that Brahman which is the self, from that Akasha Sambhutah, from Atma, from consciousness, this space is evolved, not from anything else, not from Pradhanam. Atmanah is the fifth case, Apadana Panchami, very clear. Tasmadva, Etasmad, Atmanah. Very clearly stating that Atma is the material cause. So material that makes up the universe is not Pradhanam, is not atoms, is not Shunyam, is Atma. That's what the Shruti clearly says. Ityadi Vakyabhya Nitya Shuddha Buddha Mukta Swarupat What is Etasmat? Tasmadva Etasmat Fifth case What is that? Nitya Shuddha Buddha Mukta Swarupat Atma or Brahman which is Nitya Shuddha Buddha Mukta which is Nityam eternal Shuddha ever pure Buddha ever enlightened of the nature of knowledge Mukta ever free from that, a nitya shuddha, nitya buddha, nitya mukta, ever pure, ever free, ever of the nature of knowledge. Swarupat, sarvagnat, omniscient meaning. Why, do, why does Lord Krishna, why does the Spashakar is sarvagnya? Because sarvag, knowledge always is located in the conscious being. Knowledge cannot be in pradhanam. Meaning, an inert entity cannot have knowledge. Knowledge always is centered upon conscious being. They have a sarvajna. Not that omniscience is the primary nature, but then Ishvara being the vinda nivittu padana karanam, therefore it's called sarvajna. Sarva shakti As nivitta karanam, as a creator, Brahman is called omniscient, omnipotent. Ishwarat Jagat Janisthiti Pralayaha Janmad Yasya Yataha. So the Shruti Vakya and the Sutra. Janmad Yasya Yataha. Janmadi is what? Jagat Janisthiti Pralayaha. The creation Jani. City sustenance, prayer dissolution, all of this from is from a Brahman, which is consciousness. Na achetanat pradhanat. All of this is not from pradhanam, not from matter which is inert. 
anyasmadva or from the atoms which are also inert or from shunya which is non-existence it is earth pratignataha so janmadya sayata the purpose was not to give reality to creation not to give reality to creatorship of brahman also the primary purpose of that sutra was to establish that brahman is consciousness nitya shuddha buddha mukta swabhav consciousness that is ever pure ever enlightened when ever of the nature of consciousness ever free so that is the reality behind the universe the consciousness is reality and not matter so that's the most amazing thing nobody can ever imagine nobody can imagine that the reality behind the material world is consciousness can you imagine that's a most amazing idea because everybody will imagine that the cause will be of the same nature as the effect that's how sankhyas infer that sattva rajasthamas so sattva rajasthamo gunatmikam pradhanam pradhana consisting of three gunas is the cause of the creation nobody can ever imagine that consciousness is the truth of this inert looking inert looking jagat or limitless is the cause of the limited looking jagat and forget about jagat limited looking jiva our main interest is in ourselves and therefore that even though i perceive myself to be limited being the truth about myself is that i am limitless <coughs> so isha artha pratignata hai so janma jasya ta is not for establishing ishwaratvam of brahma but establishing that the cause of the creation is consciousness and not pradhanam and not so when bhashyakara would discuss that sutra understand bhashyakara must have the vision of the entire brahma sutra in what is coming when what we will discuss later on and what relevance that discussion has with the present sutra as the swami says if you want to study gita you must know every verse of the gita and to know every verse of gita you must know all the verses of gita similarly to a comment upon one sutra you must know all the sutras everything must be right there when pani creates a sutra when, when vadrana creates sutras of course but when when the bhashyakar of pani like the patanjali writes bhashya on pani he must know all the sutras and all interconnections all intricacies because what is pani is brain you know you have to reach there no bhuto no bhavishyati there is no brain like pani is it is the highest intellectual achievement anywhere so in order for you to write bhashya you must reach there otherwise you know you will do injustice similarly to write bhashya upon the sutras you must know where sutrakar is coming from so other other bhashyakar has came but you know they cannot really create that impact once shankaracharya came other people did come that they cannot create that impact. they can emotionally you can you know you can accuse and you can do various things emotionally but intellectually it is not possible to dismiss what shankaracharya the whole world accepts it has to accept it <coughs> anyway so therefore here bhashyakara says what is the purport of the janmadya sayata hai and how the sutra does not contradict because this sutra is a different thing to say it has to say the non duality of brahman that sutra had the purpose of saying that consciousness is the root of the creation therefore they are different subject matters therefore there is no contradiction 
if two sutras say different things about the same a subject then there is contradiction but they are talking about the their kshetra their field you know of of activity is different Therefore, Bhashakara says, Sa pratigna tadavastha eva natad virodhortha punaha iha uchyade. Sa pratigna janma adhyasyata tadavastha eva. This sutra does not contradict that consciousness is the cause of the creation. This sutra doesn't contradict that. Therefore, that pratigna. So, pratigna, what is pratigna? Proposition of the sutra janma adhyasyataha is not that Brahman is Ishvara. What is the proposition? That Brahman is consciousness. And this sutra in no way contradicts that. Therefore, that pratigna or that proposition remains intact. <coughs> And this sutra does not in any way contradict what was proposed in that sutra. Says Nyai Nirna Uktimivartham Chodhya Parihara Abhyam Sphorayati what is stated in briefly is now again Chodhya Parihara Abhyam by question and answer Bhashyakara further clarifies this <coughs> very important point Katham Ityadina Katham Na Uchyade Atyantam Atmanah Ekatvam Advitiyatvam Chabruvata Katham na uchyade. So, Vaishyakara is natad virudya artha puna iha uchyade. Nothing contradictory to that sutra is stayed here. How come it is, it is said? The question is, Katham no, how do you say it is not said? Atmanah ekadvam advitiyatvam cha bruvata. Sutra karena. When Sutrakara says that Atma is Ekam Eva Dvityam, one without a second, where is the scope of Ishvara? Still he is not understood quite, looks like, you know. And therefore, he asks this question that that Sutra talks about, presents Brahman as Ishvara and this one dismisses the idea of Ishwaratvam also in Brahman. So in, how do you say this Sutra does not contradict what is, this, what is stated in that Sutra? Vashyakara says, Shrunu yatha na uchyate Tad viruddha artha na uchyate Shrunu yatha Listen to how what the sutra says does not contradict what was said in that sutra. Sarvagnyasva, Sarvagnyasya, Ishwarasya, Atma Bhute Iva, Avidya Kalpite Nama Rupe, Tattva Anyatva Bhyam, Anirvachaniye, Samsara Prapancha Bija Bhute, Sarvagnyasya, Ishwarasya, Maya Shakti, Prakruti, Iticha, Shritismrityo, Abhilapyade. Sarvagnyasya, Ishwarasya, Atma Bhute, Atma is non separate. Atma is not the self. 
नाम रूपे एट द टाइम ऑफ डिजोल्यूशन एंड सो तद विशंदि नो यतो वा इमानि भूतानि जायन्ते ये न जातानि यत प्रयंति अभिसंविशंति it looks like there is no distinction between name and form in consciousness at the time of dissolution because names and forms have as though merged into consciousness have become one with consciousness therefore atma bhute eva as though brahman is possessed of name and form as though because the distinction is not evident really speaking names and forms so brahman is distinct from names and forms <coughs> names and forms are not different from brahman but brahman is different from name and form understand masthani sarvabhutani na chaham te shavastita the beggar the king are not separate from actor but actor is definitely different from them therefore what a b is equal to a but a is not equal to b so atma bhute eva the name and form are as though the very self of ishvara or brahman avidya kalpite really and so says nay nirne naam rupayo ho atma bhutatve vastutva shankaya if names and forms are the very self of brahman then name and form become as real as brahman isn't it if nityatvam shuddhatvam muktatvam is a nature of brahman they become as real as brahman similarly if names and forms are the self of brahman then they become as real as brahman so vastutva shankaya eva iti uktam atma bhute eva as do upama tattva it is not eva it can be for upama also or it can be abhas also so upama tattvam eva karasya varayan eva word is not used as though is not as though not like eva can be like in that case it is upama but here it is as though means it is abhas appearance so that is so avidya kalpite naam rupe as though they are the self of brahman because they are imagined by ignorance tayoh avidya kalpitatvam sadayati how do you say that the names and forms are a product of ignorance how do you say that because tatva anyatvabhyam अनिर्वचनीय नाम रूपे बिकॉज नेम इन फॉर्म कैन नॉट बी कैटेगराइज तत्व एज रियल और अन्यत्व दे कैन बी सेड एज वन विद ब्रह्मन नॉर कैन बी सेड सेपरेट फ्रॉम ब्रह्मन सांगाप्यनंगाप्यभयात्मिकानो भिन्नाप्य भिन्नाप्यभयात्मिकानो you cannot say that the maya is separate from brahman or non separate from brahman you cannot say that the snake is different from the rope because there cannot be a snake nor can you say that the snake is one with the rope in which case the snake will never be negated you know satchet na badhyeta asatchet na pratiyeta if the snake was real then even when you show the torch right the snake will never disappear but it does disappear so you cannot say that the snake is real but you can't say it is non existent also asachet na pratiyata if the snake was did not exist you can't perceive that the fact that you perceive you cannot say that it is non existent and the fact that it is negated you cannot say it is existent and therefore सदसद्भ्याम अनिर्वचनीय इट इज अनिर्वचनीय दैट विच कैन नॉट बी कैटेगराइज द सत और असत सिमिलरली तत्व और अन्यत्व सेम थिंग तत्व दैट ब्रह्मत्व यू कैंट से द नेम इन फॉर्म आर ब्रह्मन 
because then they'll be real, they can never be negated. The fact that they're negated in Brahman, therefore, they're not Brahman. Anyatva, you can't say name and form are separate from Brahman, because then they'll become reality. In that case, they can't be negated. And that being the case, Tattva, they are not one with Brahman, nor separate from Brahman. And this is the classic case of, this is called Mithya, which is the product of ignorance. Say Nyaya Nirne, Nahi Ishwaratve Na Te Niruchyete. Or Ratna also says, Naam Rupayo Ho Ishwaratvam Vaktum Asakyam Jadatvat. Name and form cannot be called Brahman, because Brahman is consciousness, name and form are Jada. In different way it is explained here. Names and forms are inert, and Brahman is consciousness. So names and forms cannot be Brahman, because Inert cannot be consciousness. Nabi, Ishwarat, Anyatvam. Nor can you say that names and forms are separate from Ishwara. Kalpitasya, Prutak Satta, Sphurtiho, Abhavat. So the projected snake cannot have an existence or appearance separate from robe. Similarly, the projected universe cannot be, cannot have existence or cannot shine apart from Brahman, therefore, you cannot say that it is separate from Brahman. Nai jada jadam ajada napeksham So you can't be again both jada and ajada because that's a contradiction. Tasmad avidyatma ke nama rupe therefore, names and forms are a product of ignorance, like the rope snake. Then says Nyaya Nirne, Tayosche Kari Lingam Anumanam Pramanayati. How do you say that the names and forms are uh, Mithya? Anirvachani, how? Because Samsara Prapancha Bija Bhute. Their names and forms are Bija Bhute, are the very seed or the cause of this, this expanded samsara, samsara, prapancha, the elaborate samsara or the name, the jagat of that, the names and forms are the very cause. And jagat is mithya, so names and forms must be mithya. Jagat is anirvachaniyam, therefore the cause, name and form also must be anirvachaniyam. <coughs> Tayoscha Ashratvam Ashram Visham Jadarshadi. The names and forms are located where? Sarvagnasya Ishwarasya. They are located Ashra and Vishya. They have their being in Ishwara and they veil the very Ishwara. What do this name and form do? Is they are, because of Ishwara, they get their Satta Asfurti because of Ishwara. Like that snake gets his Satta Asfurti because of rope and wears the very rope. So snake's Ashraya is rope and Vishaya also is rope. Similarly, names and forms have Ashraya. They have the locus in, in Brahman and they wail the very Brahman. Therefore, Sarvagnasya Ishwarasya, Maya Shakti. Therefore, these names and forms are called Maya Shakti or Prakruti. Different names are given. Say Ratnavrava, Samskaratmaka, Nama Rupayoho, Avidyaikya Vyaksha, Brute. Samskaratmaka, Nama Rupayo, Nama Rupa, in their potential form. Samskar means potential. So at the time of dissolution, the names and forms are there, but they are in the potential form. Just as in deep sleep, our names and forms are Swami is there in the deep sleep also, with his names and forms and all peculiarities. But all of that is only in a potential form in deep sleep, not manifest. Call it unmanifest, call it potential, call it samskara. So samskara atmaga, nama rupayaho, 
avidyaikya vivakshaya and they are one with ignorance. They were said, maya shakti. So sometimes the names and forms are called maya shakti, the projecting power of Ishvara. Prakruti, prakruti what? So mula karanam, the primordial cause. Iti cha shruti smrutyo abhilapyade. In the shruti as well as smruti. In Shruti, where do you find? Mayam to Prakritim Vidyat Daivatma Shaktim Vividhe Nigudha So, Mayam to Prakritim Vidyat That Maya is the Prakriti of the primordial cause Seshveta Shruti Upanishad Daivatma Shaktim That is the Shakti of the Devata That is Maya Which is Nigudha Which is the, which is hidden it is Shruti. So Shruti is Shrutyo. What is Shruti? Prakritim Purusham Chaiva Vidyanadi Ubhavapi Vikaram Sagunam Chaiva Vidhi Prakriti Sambhavan All the Vikaras, all the modifications and all the Gunas are the product of Prakriti. So there the word Prakriti is used. Or Maya, Yesha, Itiva Parat. So there also in Shruti the Maya, I think Lord Krishna says to Narada that this is my Maya and so what Maya also is used in, in Smruti. So in Shruti and Smruti, in both the places the words Maya and Prakriti are used. For what? The names and forms in their potential state are called Maya or Prakriti, Avyakta, Avyakurta, all the different names are for the names and forms in their potential state Nam Rupe Chet Ishwaratma Bhute Tarhi Sopi says Ratna Brahma Nam Rupe Chet Ishwara Se Atma Bhute Tarhi Ishwara Jadahitya So Vashakara said Ishwarasya nama so atma bhute they are as though the nature of Ishwara if names and forms are the nature of Ishwara the names and forms are inert then Ishwara also is inert so much thani sarabhutani na chaham te that equation B is equal to A but A is not equal to B the beggar is not separate from actor but actor is different from the beggar that equation is now brought about here Tabhyamiti. So much Shakara says Tabhyam Anyaha Sarvagnyaha Ishwaraha Akashove Nama Rupa Yoho Nirvahita Teyadantara Tad Brahma Itishrutehe so when you say Ishwara si Atma Bhute, meaning names and forms are not separate from Ishwara. But Tabhyam Anya Ishwara, but Brahman is definitely separate from them. Sarvagnya Ishwara. So Brahman, which is con you know consciousness, is definitely separate from names and forms. So Bhashyakara very often use the word Ishwara for Brahman also. Sometimes confusion occurs. Somebody had did the research in Brahma Sutra and, and, and discovered that Vashakara uses different words for Brahman. Ishwara is a word that he uses for Brahman. But not in a primary sense that Ishwara means not ruler. Ishwara. That's why he likes seems to like that word, you know. And so Bhagavan. So Akashovai Nama Rupayo Nirvahita. What is the Ishwara say? Nam Rupabhyam Arthantaratve Pramanamaha. This is a statement in, Chandu, uh, in the Chandogya which clearly says how Brahman is different from name and form. Akasha here is the sense of Brahman. Akashovi Nam Rupayoho Nirvahita. Brahman is one that accomplishes the names and forms. Te yad antara tad Brahman. That in which they are sustained, 
that is brahma so names and forms are sustained in brahma names and forms are projected by brahman they are sustained in brahman and they were their brahman is different from them te yad antara tat brahma so that in which they are sustained that is brahman so brahman is sustainer and they are sustained so brahman is different from them it is said further it is said नाम रूपे व्याकरवाणी सर्वाणे रूपाणे विचित्य धीर है नामानि कृत्वा अभिवदन्य दास्ते एकं बीजं बहुधा यह करोते इत्यादि श्रुति भ्यस्च and there are other shrutis also nama rupe vyakarvani let me manifest names and forms so what does brahman say let me manifest names and forms understand that when can brahman manifest names and forms when it is there when names and forms are not manifest and brahman is there then like uh, the pot maker saying you know let me manifest this pot from the clay when can pot maker say when it is there present before the pots are made here clay itself says let me manifest names and pots in pans so when brahman says let me manifest that means that it is there before their manifestation so they were not there and the vainva vedarika they were not there and brahman was the brahman is separate from them sarvani rupani vichitya dhirah dhirah Domnishwan vichitya having created sarvani rupani Domnishwan Lord created all the forms namani kurtva having entered them he assumed all the names abhivadan yadaste and now he remains proclaiming those names I am Devadatta I am Vishnu Mitra he says So first the name in form of Devadatta is created Vishnu Mitra is created he enters them and now he claims I am Devadatta the one who says I am Devadatta who is he? that Param Brahma I am Vishnu Mitra I am a pot I am a table I am a chair I am sun I am moon he proclaims all these names who proclaims Ishvara or Brahma meaning that he is the one who proclaims having created names and forms he got identified with them but names and forms are created he was there even when names and forms were not there were he separate from names and forms ekam bijam bahuda yah karote one cause who makes multifarious one clay is made into many parts and pans similarly one names and forms are created into the whole diverse universe ityadi shruti but he creates diversity diversity is independent of diversity ityadi shruti from all the shruti that is very clear that ishwara is separate from names and forms that's what nyayendra said yattu naam roopa bija vyakrana apeksham aishwarya mithi the ishwara is called ruler based on the manifestation of names and forms tatra vyakarane pramanamah how ishwara manifested the names and forms naam rupe vyakarvani that's a statement which says that ishwara manifested names and forms jivasya vyakartatvam vyasedum vyak vakyantaram udaharati maybe jiva has brought about the names and forms the mimam sagad may say no no sarvani rupani vichitya dhira to omnishan man anisho va kuryat bhuvan janane kaf parikara hai how can jiva who is who is limited in every way what what uh, why where with all it has he has to create this universe <coughs> नाम रूप व्याकरण से नाना विधत्व सिद्ध्यर्थम सुत्यंतरम पठति हाउ नेम्स एंड फॉर्म्स हैव बिकम वेरियस एंड मल्टीफेरियस 
सो एक अम्बीयम बहुदाय करोदि लाइक द पॉट मेकर मेक्स वन क्ले इन टू मेनी पॉट्स इन पैंस सो आल्सो द ईश्वरा टेक्स द नेम एंड फॉर्म एंड मेक्स इट मल्टीफेरियस एस द यूनिवर्स आदि शब्दे भी सच्चत्य चा भवते इत्याद्य श्रुति ही गुरुश्रेय निरुक्तम चा निरुक्तम चे निलयनम चा निलयनम चे सत्य चान्द्रतम सत्यम चान्द्रतम चे सत्यम अभवत है ये दैट इज डिफरेंट सच्चत्य चा भवत ना दैट इज सत्य इंत्यत सत्यम चा नृतम चा सत्यम अभवत दैट्स व्हाट इट सेज ओ सत्य चा हाँ सत्य चा सच्चत्य चा भवत है निरुक्तम चा निरुक्तम चा निलयनम चा निलयनम चा विज्ञानम चा विज्ञानम चा सत्यम चा नृतम चा ओके व्हाई डज इंडी कोड दैट सत्यम चा नृतम चा नहीं वे सो सत्य चा सत सो सत्य ना सत्य मिंस दी दी ग्रॉस इन the cause and effect that's how it is the effect and cause idi darshita shrutibhya namaru vyakaranam ishwarayatam siddham tadapeksham cha aishwarya mityata asya so from all these shrutis it's very clear that names and forms are all manifested by ishwara so he separate from them and then he gets a designation of a ruler etc based on names and forms when names and forms are not there there is no ruler also Ishwara is called ruler when when names and forms come into manifestation before that there is no rulership so Ishwara Yattam and Nam Rupa Yattam the names and forms are because of Ishwara of Brahman and Brahman is called Ishwara because of names and forms it is Subhashyakara says, Svabhavikatvat Aishwarisya Kuto Vyakrana Peksha. Why not you say that rulership is natural, is its nature? Why do you say it is relative based on names and forms? So says, Evam, Evam Avidyakrita Nam Rupa Padri Anurodhi. Ishwaro Bhavati Vyoma Iva Ghatakara Kadi Upadhi Anurodhi So Ishwara, his nature is to confirm to what is created. Like the fire conforms to the pieces of wood and appears of the form of the wood. Like the embers, similarly Ishvara creates a name and form and conforms to that. That is the reason why he is called Ishvara. He remains an independent self and appears to like fire, remains formless, but appears to have assumed, have attained, have assumed a form. Similarly Ishvara remains Brahman, but appears to have become as though Ishvara by conforming to the name and form which are the products of ignorance avidya krita nam rupa upadhi so nam rupa becomes the upadhi ishwara confirms to the upadhi which is name and form created from ignorance ishwara bhavati he is called ishwara only in that from that same point vyomayiva ghata karakadi upadhi anurodhi just as a space also confirms to the forms of pots and pans, etc. is called ghatakasha, padakasha, mathakasha in conformity to the various forms. So also Ishvara is called, the Brahman is called Ishvara, Sarvagni, Sarvashaktiman, or Sarvashaktiman based on the names and forms. Okay. Om Purnamadav Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnamivavashishyate 
ओम शांति 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 शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमेहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम ओ शाति 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 हरि ओ श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओ